And one, two, ta -ta 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 -ta. welcome everybody to 3.5 Dungeoneers where we can get our ovaries right. Ah, uh, finally, yes, over here, done. Mission, mission successful. Hello, everybody, and and welcome to week nine of 3.5 Dungeoneers. And we are joined today by my fabulous crew, and we have again. We again have Gary in the wrong side of the screen. Gary, why little, is your little face? Did everybody, little did everybody know all of the screen is mine. Little does everybody know that you're actually devil. The devil. Not the a devil. devil, the devil. The devil. Okay. Good. Now you're in the right place. Stay there. So let's start with our always uh, introductions as always. We have Gary playing as our dwarf crusader Volwak. We have Gokarex playing as our female human hero, finally, to remember that. eventually remember. Yes, I will eventually remember. You played Cyril in the Mutants and Masterminds as a, as a male, so I remembered him as a male. No, oh, she didn't play Cyril in the Mutants and He played Brock. Yeah, I was. Brock, no, she, you were Cyril for one session. Was he? If you remember, yeah. <coughs> the, the session where the. They killed the the mafia dude. And and he was the sex I, it was I was a girl, but I still was he was a girl as well. <laughs> but yeah, that, well, yeah. I was, well, I was a male girl. Well, it was complicated. A male girl. Male girl. Complicated. Complicated. complicated yeah. Okay, then we go on to Nick, who's playing our uh, mage, fail, fail fail mage with dark gray robes. Now you have gray robes if I remember. Okay, so you're not a dark mage, you're a grey mage from now on. Uh, Alexander Vokis. And then at last, the weirdest of the weirdest, we have Phantom of the Opera, Swashbuckle, Rogue... Uh, what was the last quest you moved to quest in? Sword Sage? Um, Sword Sage. Sword Sage... Uh, Devil. Okay. So, guys. Who do we ask now? What happened, Devil? You haven't you haven't talked. I, think, I don't think I asked you much. So, Devil, Probably what happened? Not. You're afraid that I'll uh, come up with some crazy story that didn't really happen. Well, you always do. So why not make fun okay. now? <laughs> so yeah, tell us tell us what happened uh, in the last couple of like just a summary of what you guys did in the last uh, couple of weeks. What what's been happening with you? Last uh, couple of weeks, we've been having a bit of exploration. We uh, went to the town got that uh, was evacuating for uh, Brindle, and uh, um, our party seriously kind of messed up, and we got separated from each other, and people got uh, attacked by spiders. Uh, we lost our healer to the spiders, and uh, almost lost the mage. Almost lost the healer to the spiders, and our mage pretty much seemed clueless, even though he was the first one to <laughs> come into the idea that the spiders were bad guys. Um, let's see. After that, we ended up going north towards Rest, and we came across a, a group of uh, people that we ended up saving from being poor, if I remember. Gave them a whole bunch of gold. Oh yeah, you were in which cross? This like just like a family. You gave a family a lot of gold. They were very poor. Like a couple <laughs> is is literally what they asked for to stay there, and you gave them a couple of gold. They were very and then very we excited. The gold, and then we gave them the kids silver. Yeah. Of course. It's and the, and those we guys haven't to... seen gold. It's it's like, uh, it's like talk to whoever one adventure of a dragon. That's that's how big gold is for them. <laughs> and then we uh, were told that a guide to rest was uh, north of the town. There was a uh, little rundown shack on a hill. So we started heading there, got assaulted by manticores, and our fearless tank intimidated the manticores into leaving us alone. That happened. 
Down, bitches. Do like a four manty cores and like eh, pay us money and he was no. And <laughs> it worked. The rolls the the dice said it worked. Well he he did have a donkey carrying the head of a dragon, Hydra, one okay. of their friends, a manticore, I think he took the head of the manticore as well. But, uh, I don't have a manticore. No, no, he never no, took manticore. the head of the manticore because he, he, he took, actually did but he the has head. Shimra head. Yeah, so um, besides that, you guys, um, what happened last time, exactly, like last session? Well, after that, we discovered that the guide was gone, and we uh, decided to try to find our way to rest on our oh. own, in which case we got uh, ambushed at a tower. A a and the rogue, for once, well. failed utterly. Hang on, we didn't get ambushed. Uh, tower. Ambush is not the correct. We, we walked we into the ambush that I spotted. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's basically there's an ambush. Let's go. There's an ambush. You still got ambushed. You were surrounded. Well, it's not ambushed if you know about it. Sure it is. You just know that it's an ambush. Is it, is it still a trap if you know it's a trap? Yes, it's a trap. You just walked yeah. right into it. I, I, I think an ambush kind of... fall in it. <laughs> yeah, I can still fall in it. But no, I think an ambush like is the element of surprise. Like implies the element of surprise, and you're like, yeah, uh, the tower with guys on them. Let's let's walk inside. With well, the surprising hop, hop, thing about the encounter was the fact there was no stairs to get to the other level. <laughs> there, there actually was. Uh, they they used the ladder on the outside, and they destroyed the stairs inside. But he failed his spot check in order to see the ladder that was hidden. Which was okay because I could. Uh, get yeah, you you up have you have your you have your portability. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well, that's it. You guys are. Um. What do you, I think we left off exactly at uh, after the everything, finder. Everything on we the finished floor. Finished off then. the base guys. Yeah, you finished off uh, everybody. The last hobgoblin committed swift suicide and tr trying to damage you as much as they can, screaming, "The red hand shall never know defeat," and so on. And so forth, and yet, and, them. and yet you defeated them. So, um, you guys are at um, you're at the watchtower. You 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 finished up everybody. What what are your intentions? Wait, I remember uh, that there was a second or third floor that we didn't check. There was what? A second or third floor that we didn't. Yeah, we were check. up to the sec. We were up to the second level. And we we're about to oh, go yes. up the ladder. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, hit points. Everybody roll for hit points. So, Alexander, that's um, that's finally a good roll for you. It's great. So, Valrak, you want to be next? Uh, like I said, I kind of rolled last time. Uh, what did you roll? If you look up, it's, it was the last thing that I rolled. A 10. That's uh, Yeah, yeah, keep that. That's, yeah, don't mind. I'm not re-rolling that again. I'll re-roll it, but if it's lower, I'm not taking it. <laughs> Doesn't work that. Okay, Cyrell. Gonna be next. It's okay. Yeah. HP seven. Nice. Good for you. And now let's go, Hennessy. Oh, I'm gonna be low. Bad for a tank. Oh, not that low. You're not a Lovely. tank. <laughs> I'm a tank. Leave me alone. Yeah, you either cute or tank. <coughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at the tank. Oh, it's, I think I just stepped on it. That's that's yeah. That's what the dragon was saying. Look, look at the tank. Look at the tank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, continue on. We'll do whatever you guys were about to do. Yeah, so I, I, I believe we were about to go up to the second level. Yep. Yep. We we, loo we looted, we looted everything everything down there. We found a bit of gold. We yeah, cause there wasn't anything left of the mage. It was just turned into dust. But there was a, there was something left with it. The robe and I threw the robe down to you. Identified it between you. Yeah, but we How didn't much? actually loot everyone downstairs because uh, he said that he was gonna keep that for next time. We yep. always do loot next time. Yes. Yes, but you defeated ogres and just hobgoblin veterans, so you loot them and I will, let's see, you find a total of 20 gold pieces between all of them, 
and there are weapons of course if you wanna if you want any of them but you should I have gold better. Each. Guys, I have gold each. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, the mages, all the other mages, uh, things incinerated with him or were smashed. So there was nothing. He doesn't seem to have any scores, but a couple of potions, like two potions, are just smashed on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and besides that, upon going up into the watchtower, you see that there's literally nothing. It's just the roof of the watchtower. Um, open roof. There's nothing above your head, and there's really just the stone slabs. Uh, what can my dwarven eyes see since I appear yonder? Do you want to do a search check? I'll do a search check as well, see if there's anything that I can find by searching around the tower. Okay, but oh wait, but Valak, how do you get up? My question is. Hi. Yeah, he ran. Oh, up. yeah. Oh yeah, you you <laughs> just climbed up. I remember, I remember. Because they came on. down from the roof on a. They came down exactly. They only only three of them do. They all came down. I so, like. Might need to take some more time before I find anything. Okay. Hennessy, would you like to to all us as well? Sure. Okay. Um, Hennessy, do you find something? Uh, scattered I was just about to see this. Just <laughs> about to, I swear. <laughs> scattered in one corner, almost discarded, and not that easy to see. You just glimpse it with the corner of your eye. At the exact moment you just wanted to think there's nothing around here. There's a piece of paper, a tiny piece of paper. Oh, lovely. I'll go and pick it up and inspect it. Okay, you pick it up and expect it. Um, it's the same language that was written on the map you guys had, so Goblin. Lovely. See. I shall attempt to decipher. Okay, uh, you don't. You can attempt to decipher, yeah. Do me an attempt to decipher. Like, you'll never decipher the whole thing, um, just might give you something. If you're always good enough. Okay. You looking for of it, you do recognize a name. You don't know uh, anything else besides that, but you do recognize a name. Sandorax. I mm. look at the others and say, any of you guys know someone named Sandalwax? <laughs> Sandal Sandalwax, you say? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Can I do a religion uh, check? About sandal wax. Sandal wax. Uh, sandal wax is 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 a, is a saint in your. <laughs> oh, Rax, Rax, sorry. <laughs> sandal wax. <laughs> yes. Would I know if it's a draconic name if I speak draconic? Uh, you don't know it to be a draconic name. Okay. And Does by the way, again, a little bit. Does it sound a little bit like my name? It doesn't sound a little bit like your name. By the way, again, we this we see nothing, Nick. I, I know, I know. Thank you. <coughs> I moved away for a little. Yeah, you know my obsession with seeing your face. Exactly. That sounds kind of odd. Exactly. Okay, so you you find Sandorax's name in that uh, script, but you can decide with nothing else. You either need some magical way of doing it, or somebody who speaks Robin. Good luck with that. So, what do you guys, uh, what do you guys continue on to do? Um, when I when I when I said a search around, I mean, I want to see what I can see, like, um, out across the tower, like where towards we're going. Like, can we see any other enemies, any other towers, any buildings, etc. On the way, Cause I imagine this. I imagine the tower goes above the forest line. Yeah, yeah, it is above the forest line, of course. Uh, you don't see anything, though. Like, you don't see another watchtower. Um, you don't see any other constructions, actually. So we can't see our destination from here. Uh, you can see the in a uh, further on. You can see your destination. You, you can just see like other watchtowers. Uh, let me just give you a description of what you see from there. Um, basically, you are at almost at the end of the Witchwood. 
you need to enter the black fence in order to get to rest. You see the old rec the cryptic tower, the crypt tower of rest um, that is rumored to be haunted, heavily haunted. But you may give belief to these rumors or not. Still, that is your destination. Mm. So, what do you guys decide on doing? Mm. I, I, I want to go down and examine the, the Orgus. Do you know okay. we already do that? How, bi how big do the Orgus heads look? Big. Large creatures. Big, big heads. And they're like, ogre heads are kind of big. Like, they're big, bigger than they should be. Like, a, a proportionate head on body, their heads are a bit bigger than they should be. Uh, I turned to our mage and cleric and asked them if they could possibly ponder their, their spellcrafting knowledge if there was any any components that we use in parts of organs. Mm, like, an, like, a, like an August toe or an August, an August finger. Like, oh, not for me, thank you. <laughs> but if you intend to keep this head like the others, I can make it so that it's not going to decompose in the next few weeks. Don't these things go back to life? Those are trolls. Uh, I hit it with the hammer just in case. Okay, you you, poof, you you hit the head with the hammer just. Not in the case. not the head. No, no, yeah. Tricky, you've got my character wrong. I would never <laughs> hit the head with the hammer. Hit the belly again. <laughs> you hit the belly with a hammer. <laughs> It, you, you can suppose it's it's very dead. Like it seems to be very dead. Yeah, um, Miss Mister Mitch, do you know of any spellcrafting things that use ogres? For what? <coughs> Spell components. Well, I didn't Orgus, hear that. Ogres blood, ogres eyes, ogres toe, ogres toenail, <laughs> ogres knee. No. Do you need any spell components from it? He asks. No, 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 no. If you were unsure, you could maybe like spellcraft check to just to check. You <laughs> <laughs> don't need anything from that. Okay. Off so. with the heads. You you chop off their heads with a hammer. Not with the hammer. I I, I borrow my my healer's sword, but because you know, you. I I look at him. It's like you know that thing really needs to get used a little bit, or it's gonna like rust up. I mean, if you want to use it. Which should be great, because it's a frost sword, it'll serrate all of the arteries, there'll be no mess on the way. This is probably an ideal chopping sword, I imagine. I'm not very skilled in the... Oh, no, 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 just give the sword out. I, I like the chopping. <laughs> okay. you, chop, nice. you chop the heads of how many ogres? Uh, there were two, wasn't there? Yeah, both of them? Yeah, or... yeah. You, can keep, you, can, you can cast them on more than one thing, can't you? I can cast it. Just remember that this is the, this is a bit like you don't think there's a possible way you could get a ogre head on the donkey. Like the donkey is is, is no the head is too big. What do you mean the head's too big? The head's too big. It's large creature. How have you never played Bookaroo? What? Have you never played Bookaroo? <laughs> I I'm just gonna say the head like. It, Compared to what what heads you already have, like on their sides, you can't tell me a, it's a, too a, big. A, a, an ogre's head bigger than a dragon's one. Rubbish. Yes, because the dragon was a medium uh, creature. Not the black dragon one that I got. The black dragon one was still a medium creature. The old, both of the heads were just mediums. It was smalls, like your head, just a, just with horns. The dragon head was like your his head. What kind of dragon was dragon for ants? So basically, the only big head you have there, I think, is the Chimera ones. Mm. I think it's the Chimera ones. Mm. Anyway, I'm saying I'm saying it's too big for your donkey. So, uh, but not time, too heavy. Not too heavy for my donkey. It's yeah, it's not too heavy. You 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 wait. Like, the donkey is good. It's a war donkey. It can carry a lot. But I don't know. I've got the pack mule. It's the one that's carrying it. Oh, I well, ride, sorry, I the pack mule. Yeah, you, the pack mule is carrying all this stuff. It's too big. Like, it would make him move considerably slower. Even if he was dragging it? Even if he was dragging it. 
Oh, rubbish. They can, they can lift like fucking 1,000 pounds. They, they could they, if, if you had a cart. Well, then that's a different story. But you don't but have can, a cart. How can I? How if? How can it pull a cart with a head in it if it can't pull a head? No, it can. It can pull a head, but how do you want to pull that head? Just like just tie it to the rope. Right. Uh, like, yeah, There's a big difference it. between having wheels and just dragging something on the ground. Well, then maybe we'll have to use the ogre's heads as wheels for something then. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. So what's, take, what's your will, choice? I will take one head. Okay, so you're just gonna carry it on your donkey or that? And I will just kick the other one away in anger and frustration. Okay, you spend like a, you spend close to one hour in chopping these heads off and uh, crooning and finishing off the this job. Okay, I so you everyone everyone would have noticed that I've actually started to take a, a great delight to this and kind of just like 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 a lumberjack basically, kind of you know just this chopping off the head. Chop! I'm loving it. Okay, so where do you put this head? Um, I put this one on the donkey, but take two of the smaller heads off it to put on the other donkey. Wait, wait, you can carry an extra head if you skin the head and put it as a helmet on the donkey. I don't think the donkey's <laughs> that. I think the, donkey, I think the donkey's pretty pissed off with him carrying around anyway. Like, so... If I take other heads off it to see if he can carry it, surely. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll put two of the smaller heads on that. I'll put the two dragon heads on on, on one donkey. Oh, okay. So you have a donkey with uh, chimera hydra and ogre head, and on yours you have just dragon heads dangling. Yeah, with with a little dwarf in between them. Oh, okay, and a little dwarf in between them. So you continue on your road then towards west. And uh, I suppose Alex casts the the doodad. Tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow, um, heals, heal check. I have uh, zero damage on me. I have zero damage on you. I have, but I have, I do have ten damage on Valrak. Do you want to be healed, Valrak? Got them spare. I always do. And I see, I have twenty I, I damage on you. This is for Valrak. And oh. four on Alexander. I cast Cure Minor Wounds on Alexander for 4. Yes, all That's the Cure magic. Minor Wounds. Okay, so you get 4. Uh, Valrak, you're 4 as well. And Hennessy has 20, 20 damage. 20 damage. My new full is 82 damage. as well. This year. 82, okay. And my pool is now 15 as well. I'll do another Cure Light on him. Okay. You have only three damage on you left, Hennessy. And I will finish if I cure minor wounds. Great. For four. That's, that's four. Okay, so guys, um. Uh, what time of the day is it, by the way? You, you've, you've set out from Witch Cross in the morning. It took you about four hours to get to the hut. Then you continue on for another three hours. It's about um, seven. Do you think it's worth just sleeping here while we've actually got like fortification, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? If someone keeps watch, it could be. Oh, is, this, is this a wooden tower or a stone tower? A stone tower. It could be that the enemy will check back with the other people, so I then would we suggest. Can, then, watch. if we if we sleep in the upper rafters, we can ambush them. Yes, yes, but we need to have someone awake to see them arriving. So. I I so don't I, I think between me and the me and the rogue. We should be able to do sufficient watch for you two to have your beauty sleeps. Okay. I'm gonna need my eight hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uninterrupted sleep. Me too. Eight hours of uninterrupted fapping. Sure. Lovely, we have a fap mage. Uh, fap once. At, at least he's useful, he's useful for something. Yeah, but it's a really bad time to forget that you just, you know, pre prepared, like, you know. Zombie touch or something like that, or burning hands. <laughs> I mean, you can crit with those things. Things hand. Okay, that's 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 for that's for uh, XXX. Sick Sick yeah, three point five XXX. <laughs> okay, so. Book of erotic fantasy, anyone? <laughs> you guys, you guys, set up a watch and uh, set up camp here at the, in the watchtower or in the forest around. 
I suggest in a watchtower. But we do it on the upper floor. Yes, the upper floor is better because you see the stairs. Uh, not the roof, like the, the second floor. So where it's warm. That's good too. Okay. Well, um, you you sweep in the night. I would like um, for your watches. How, how, who's gonna be first? How long are you gonna stay? And who's gonna be next? And because if you sleep eight hours, that means four and four, and that's not enough sleep for for any of you. So I. I'm not gonna give you fatigued, but next time, like if you do continue on doing this, you will get fatigued. Uh, I won't. You I have my magic bag to sleep in. Oh yeah, you have your magic bag as well. So how much do you keep watched in? Uh, I think just four and four. Anyway, I I can easily give the bag to somebody else if they need sleep. Okay, so man, that's that's okay. You guys do four and four, but. Um, Whoever didn't sleep in the bag, and I think that's uh, Hennessy. Well, you, we can if trade off. If he's if they, yeah, you if can trade off. Waking, they're one sleeping in the bag, and yeah. then they're sleeping bag. Yeah, well, that's, actually, yeah, that's we, could, we could share the sleeping bag. Yeah, you share the sleeping bag together. You, at the same you, time. It might, it might, it might feel a little bit spacious for you, but it fit, it fits snug, no matter who's in it. Apparently, according to the hey, description. I've, I've, I've got a, a sleeping tent. That's all I need. Magical. Okay, so you you sleep you uh, you you are okay, but on Hennessy's watch. Hennessy, roll me a spot check. Actually, roll me a listen check first. And you want it GM rolled, don't you? Yes. So basically, uh, battle rolls. You roll them, but skill rolls, GM roll them, and don't mention them when you want to do them. Uh, again, like why I ask this is because when somebody says I want to search, and then everybody, I want to search as well. I want to search as well. Okay. And after that, um, roll me a spot check. Okay. So. Tennessee, would you like me to just go with what happens and, and wake everybody up, or would you like it to, to be PM to you? Um, just go with what happens. Okay, so in the night, there is some rustling between the trees and the leaves, but Tennessee is way too distracted to hear that. Wait, he's just looking at the stars. Everybody is <laughs> soundly sleeping, and uh, then even some figures can be seen... Uh, uh, climbing well, the other side of the wall, but he's just, he's still watching the stars. And, well, you guys, including Devil, to his surprise, as he turns around, you all kind of wake up with um, bows and arrows pointed at you. About three or four to each. You don't say. How? How? <laughs> Well, he rolled a one on his listen check and a three yeah, on his spot check. They, they can't get up here without climbing up a ladder, opening a giant wooden door, going past two donkeys. You Maybe don't they know. killed the donkeys. Okay, so you guys are woken up by arrows, uh, notched in bows, pointing at you. Uh, did eight hours pass for the spells? The eight hours did not pass. Oh. Unfortunately, no. You were woken up two hours place. in his uh, in his sleep, and you wake up. You look at them, and you realize there's something. They're not hobgoblins, and as your eyes adjust, they they look like elves, but different. Uh, Alex, would you roll me a intelligence intelligence check? Alex says, "As you me as Cyril Cyril." Okay. Sorry, sorry. So, Silo, so roll me a intelligence check. Yes. Twelve. Twelve. Something's familiar. You, you know something about this, but you're not. You can't quite place it. Hmm. Can a religion check help? No. 
Okay. And you, if you have a nature check, though, that could help. I do have a nature check. You try that. See if it. See if it goes better. No. 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 Um, While he, sorry. While he does that, are we free to act or? I mean, or? yeah. The, again, like <laughs> I was pointing. I to ask, I'll ask in Elven who they are. Uh, in a different Elven that you don't quite. It's you understand it. Um, okay. But it's it's a lot different than the one that you speak. They say, "Get up, weapons down, follow us." Okay, okay. I I look to the elves pointing arrows at me, and they go, "Stars are beautiful, aren't they?" <laughs> they they don't respond. Okay, so uh, if anybody has, do you uh, hang on. If these are drow check, you, I, I would surely know. Who you would are. know if they were drows, but they are not drows. It's come kind of common knowledge. Yeah, I, that, 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 it would I'm be not, common yeah. knowledge if I would, I would, I would say that they have dark skin. It's no, that's fine. Just because obviously drow wall with dwarves. Exactly. So no, they're no drows. Uh, their skin is. Darker, but tan, not not where nowhere near crows dark itself. So, tan you, elves. If you if you guys have uh, no actions, you are gonna be herded down um, at the entrance. Your weapons will be carried by somebody else. I don't have any weapons. Ah. Oh, you will be <laughs> disarmed. Command. They in will command, take. I would say, who are you? How many people do I have around me? Uh, you have about like three guys on each of you. It's it's like it's about <laughs> nine elves. I'm not going to do this, but just looking at it from what I could do, if I actually activated thickets of blades now, every time any one of them stepped, I get an attack of opportunity against every single person around me. <laughs> <laughs> just try walking. <laughs> well, I can fight. <laughs> Well, anyway, no, uh, no, I, don't, I'm not, I don't want to do that. But that's the thing. Like, hmm, if I'm walking, they just carry on walking um, after I activate the stance. I get to attack every single one. Um, Chucky, I need a, per I need a perception or a spot oh. versus my sleight of hand. Uh, yes, do your sleight of hand for your daggers, for your. Oh uh, no, thing. it's just for my sleeve one. For a sleeve one, yeah. Do you do that. Uh, Don't you mean, yeah, don't yeah, you need yeah. to roll sleight of hand yeah. when you take that out? Uh, no, 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 sleight of, it's like, he tries to keep it hidden as they search him for weapons. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. So, you're okay, they don't find it. They do take your okay. other daggers and all your other weapons, including the marbles. Um, they take your hammer, they take your sword and your staff, uh, Siren, they take your spell book, Alexander. They take my bag of marbles, that's depressing. <laughs> but they didn't, they didn't take my jumping gal drops. <laughs> they 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 heard you. They take you all down, and uh, you are presented toward a tall elf who has a almost a longbow as big as him on his back, and he addresses you in a rough common. Uh, sorry, Saro, you wanted to say anything? Down, I, you got her. Well, before I said, I, I asked who they were. I mean, I said, they, who are you? They don't respond. Okay. And you are you are herded downstairs, and this this elf points at all the bodies and says, "Mighty mess you made here." I had to get the heads off. Sorry. He laughs and says, "Who are you?" Me. Are you trying to save this lands? Save this lands. Interesting. Well, do you not know of the army coming here? Army. The red hand is spreading. Stop mentioning the fucking red hand to everyone. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Do me a charisma uh, diplomacy check, actually. Diplomacy. Yes, do you need a diplomacy, diplomacy check. Plus eight. Plus eight. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Nice. He says. Follow us. Your weapons will be returned to you once you are deemed trustworthy. It's not like I ever used them. <laughs> uh, 
And she points to the donkeys and says, these are your mounts and like the other horses. Mm-hmm. Don't touch the trophies, please. I sure not. Though I I would like to ask who they belong to. Me. Well, it was a joint effort if I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> he nods and says, after you. And he points the way. Are we um, going barefoot? Yeah. Uh, okay. Bows are not notched anymore. They're still at the ready, but they're not notched and pointed at you. Uh, you are taken uh, directly west of your location. Uh, g just at the fringes of the Witchwood, going exactly into the Black Fens. Uh, so we're, not, we're definitely not going into the Witchwood. You're definitely not going into the Witchwood. I definitely check with them that we're not going into the Witchwood. They, you see the Witchwood to your left as you as you move and you move away from it. You yeah. don't go into the Witchwood. Okay. Well, uh, you guys uh, continue on moving, and do you do, do you want to do anything? Um, it's gonna take a couple of hours. I would ask them about the Witchwood. They would uh, only answer, and it's it's a foul place, and evil corrupted it long ago, but nothing much that you don't know already. Big fucking spiders. Big fucking I would spiders. say, I would say, hey, I only got two hours of sleep tonight. Would it be a problem if I followed you by mount? Followed you, followed us by mount? How? What do you mean I by that? I pray we'll tie him up and, mount and my unicorn companion appears. Okay, so you you you, you go down and start praying. For six seconds. I just, like, you know, quick pray, six seconds, and my mount appears next to me. Well, yeah, all the, all the battles kind of... <laughs> what sorcery is this? Magnificent oh. creature answering your call? Have you enthralled it? Have you what? Have you enthralled it? What does that mean? Um, enslaved. Enslaved, <clears throat> it. yeah. Oh, no, no. This is a celestial... ...of its willing and... Unswiveling something. <laughs> uh, the uh, the unicorn. I think the unicorn can. The sex creatures can speak common. It's intelligent. Um, it's intelligent check. enough to. I think it is. Uh, well, yeah. anyway, definitely, definitely to him. I think I'm not sure about anybody else. Well, I have a mental link. It speaks him, so. Sylvan and yeah, common. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so the the Inuko would actually uh, agree to this and and tell the yeah, elves. Been coming. I have been summoned by uh, by him, and I am his. Um, her. I am by her. I am her companion. I am no slave. The elves are mighty impressed by this, and it seems like they 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 come. They just, she uh, the commander says like. The waves the hand and they sheet their uh, bows on their backs. He says, "Well, we could trust you more now, I guess. No evil creature would have uh, the companionship of celestial creatures. Yes, you might follow us by um, mount, and we are going to Star Song Hill. If you have um, ever heard of the Kiriti Tor." I will put it up. Thank you. Um, I turn to the elves and say, See, I knew the stars were beautiful tonight. <laughs> he laughs and says, Well, um, from now on though, I, I need to blindfold you. I'm sorry All about this, but it is our custom, yes. Even my unicorn? Unfortunately, yes. We cannot show our... Uh, the way into our secret village to just any outsider. Understood. Does anybody, uh, uh, is anybody gonna act out against this blindfolding? No, but I'll take it to the guy in charge. What map? The the map with the goblins. Huh. Yeah. The goblin stuff. 
you hand the map to the him. Including the elf getting cut? Say what? He, he, yeah, you get you hand him the map, he yeah. opens it and uh, dark, dark face washes across his uh, brow and he says this is um, this is will be quite useful thank you for this I shall return it hey. okay they brainfold you all and for about four more hours you stumble through the woods until you you're finally um, <laughs> you're finally unblindfolded and you are presented with star song hell the encampment and city of the Tirikitor, the last of the wood elves. You can see uh, elves running around the, the scouts on our bears, um, handling their mounts with mastery. You see that the whole the encampment is made mainly tents, or mounds in the ground, or just houses in um, in the trees themselves. It's a very beautiful city. There are a couple of big constructions in the city, uh, but otherwise there is uh, nothing uh, that jumps to your eye. Go on, Cyril. How long did they, did they keep us blindfolded? About four hours. You stumbled through the woods for two. Okay, so one of those hours, could I have been praying to regain my spells? Because I read that it doesn't say I have to actually sleep just once a day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm okay. be mentioning that, yeah. I'm I'm gonna be I'm 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 gonna say okay to that. So you you pray you get your spells back. Second, um, and you get to this in a second. Yes. Um, you get to you get to Star Song Hill. As a city. Did you say they were riding around on owl bears? Yes, there are uh, other elves around riding around on owl bears. Okay, um, a second, I need to open something here. Okay, um, the reader presents himself to be Tilan, a just one of the scout masters. He says that we were tasked to uh, get rid of the blockage in the road caused by the goblins and the ogres. We just um, very soon learned about it. We were happy to see that it was already gone before we get we got there. Anyway, I will need to present you to the leader of our uh, tribe, and you can talk to her and give her the story. But I warn you, mm -hmm. and he looks at all of you, do not bring a full heart in her abode. If you do, it will harm only but you and no one else. I look uh, deeply at the mage. <laughs> Everybody looks deeply at the mage. <laughs> I look at the ground. <laughs> I don't even say anything, I just look. He looks suspiciously at the mage and says, uh, She will want to talk to all of you, but I. I strongly suggest. <laughs> I, I, I strongly suggest that uh, you limit yourself to as little talking as you can, mage. It's alright, he's really good at being spoken to, it's just the speaking back part that's the problem. He doesn't even know me, he's already so <laughs> Well, when a uh, whole party just like turns and says, don't walk into it with a fall heart. <laughs> Well, I hope she's not a cleric or something because I have a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you are ushered into a um, opening between some very tall, very big oaks. They stand like in a circle. Well, uh, at a certain way from them, you don't see any way of getting in. Like it's it's com it seems completely blocked. But as you go closer. Uh, you see that the hedges just uh, just have a passage that you somehow missed when you are um, walking towards it. At this passage, uh, Tyrion leaves you and says, "Walk forward." I skip forward. Okay, uh, you enter this opening, 
and um, you enter, uh, you go a tad bit on a, on a hill, and on this hill um, there are many variety of flowers. The fragrance around is almost overwhelming. The beauty of the sights around you, even even at this uh, time when the sun barely shines inside, is gorgeous. You have never seen something as beautiful as this. Is that coming from plants and stuff like that? That's that seems to be coming from the whole thing. Like you feel at home here. You sh you feel. Uh, Obviously, never been in a dwarf city before. Yeah, you, like that. you, you feel you feel relaxed, uh, safe to put it like that. Yeah. Okay, you sorry, walk. Sorry, dwarf. It's not a rock garden. <laughs> not, not a rock garden. Nice, it'll have some nice rocks in it at some point. You walk in front, and then a a throne made out of uh, roses and thorns. Upon which stands another wood elf. This one, different. Very different than the others. Second, the first. This is the first maiden you have ever laid eyes upon, with golden locks going out on the ground and skin as move as move as moonstone. Her deep green eyes penetrate the essence of your being. You cannot help but feel a de deep sense of reverence while standing in her presence, with footsteps. That seemed to not even touch the ground, but rather caress it in her going. She comes ne near each of you. You find yourselves unable to move, unable to even flinch, and you cannot take away your eyes from hers. One by one, she gazes in your eyes. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> first, at Varak, and you hear you hear something in you hear something, Varak, but only you. Do you want it private or? Uh, uh, yes, well, I'll put private. Okay. <laughs> then she gazes at Cywell and says something as well. I will, I will just give you... Give it, you I mean, for me, it could have been public, but sure. Okay, so she tells you sometimes cannot save everybody, but be content with what you have done so far. It is more than the others can boost, boast of. Let the bitch die! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> to Sorry, it, I'm sure that was a complete misinterpret of what was being said, but it was, as soon as he said it, it just popped straight into my head. <laughs> uh, the, to Hennessy, she says, even if your darkest Times so let your smile never dwindle, and others will find strength in that. And that Alexander. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Before anything, can I make a save to remove any thought about necromancy from my? <laughs> 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 you may, you may try and make a willpower check. You may try and make a willpower check. Necromancy is not by itself evil. Oh, oh, will oh, save oh, or a wisdom? It, will this, save. This, this <laughs> if I killed her. Nothing. Okay. She says she says this to you in your head. I try to avoid the gaze. <laughs> you you can you cannot avoid her gaze. I cannot. I cannot. You, no, you cannot even flinch. You cannot move your eyes from hers. I cannot close my eyes. No. No. Okay. okay. But then after this, she turns around, and you all feel free from her grasp. I instantly turn a 180 degrees and stay there. She looks at you and says, I know what you have done, and I know what you are trying to do. And I, and to accomplish your task, you will need first to finish yet more quests, heroes. She says, go and talk to the others that the Vafrio told you about, Cyril. Convince them to help. If you cannot do their bidding, they m if you cannot uh, convince them, do their bidding. And they might offer their approval. After that, the final test lies with me. I shall be waiting, Dungeoneers. And, uh... 
she points back towards the um, exit of the hedges. Could you just repeat that? I got you what she said. She says, um, uh, basically, uh, Sayuel knows what um, what she meant. Because my memory is amazing, and I definitely yeah. haven't forgotten. You you will remember. You do remember this from the party that. Right, the last party you had in, in the Runwoods Ferry, uh, Avafriel told you about a ancient tribe of uh, wild elves called the Kiri, Ki, the Kitty Titor. Oh, one second, I have the names here. It's annoying. The Tiri Kitor. Okay. And he told you about the readers and um, the people you should talk about if you ever, if and if you could. Uh, try and get their help because they're a very powerful race that uh, could help much in the fight against the Red Hand. Okay, so do you need them? Do you need more clarifying? Uh, I know, I do. I just didn't quite hear the, the, who it was that we had to go for, but I've got it now. She she just said to the people that Avafriel told you about. You know the you know the names, uh, Sarah. They pop back to mind. Okay. I will, I will give them to you when you want them. Uh, has she finished speaking or not? Yeah, she has finished speaking. She turned around, and she pointed towards where you came from. Uh, can I ask her if she speaks goblin, or knows of anybody who speaks goblin, to help us with translating materials that we found? She says, "Wait, wait." I haven't spent my skill points yet, I can learn Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> she says, there are a Night Shadow. And can I have a, an owl bear thingy? No. We'll, we'll ask somebody else for one of them. <laughs> she nods. And again, she... She doesn't point, but she makes it obvious that you need to leave now. Oh, come on everyone, hurry up. Jesus Christ, why are you stolen? I kind of shuffle out of the entrance instead of skipping in. I grab the mage. <laughs> you go up. Okay. I, like, I hold his hand out the door. As 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 you look at him, he is com he's very pale. Exactly. I have the, I, I have that effect on people. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Uh, Not going to hurt you, mage. There's nothing to be scared about. Come on. Okay, I'm following him. Don't cast anything. I'm not casting anything. Good. He doesn't have his spell book. I have. I, I remember some... giving this to Spock. Do you don't have his spell book? I thought you I remember some materials. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, you are you, you go out the way you came, and uh, Tyrone was waiting there for you, and she look, he looks at Valrak and then at the mage and says, "What happened inside?" You didn't cast anything. Don't worry. I, I'm not worried of, uh, of Valaria. I am worried of you. What happened yeah. inside? Uh, she spoke to us. Did she now? Well, do not tell me what she told you. That is only for your, your um, ears to hear. Yes. Whatever task you have, whatever she told you, uh, I would urge you to listen to her. She is a a being of infinite wisdom. Anyway, I I must go. I have uh, received word that you are to be trusted upon the premises of our um, uh, of our hill. I will give your weapons back. And and my book. I will only ask that the mage does not receive his spell book until you leave Star Song Hill. I'll hold on to it. No, no, no. I can hold on to it. Yes, trust, yes. trust the healer. He gives you the he gives you the book and says to uh, Alexander, "It is nothing uh, personal, my friend." Mm. All right, I have a certain conclusion and suggest that maybe it's safe in the haversack, as opposed to on your open body around. Second. It lands. No offense, Mr. Mr. Rogue. Slash, slash, 
sorted. <laughs> okay. So do you do you put it in your have a sack? Uh, as long as the elf doesn't object to it, and no, the elf objects to it. I, well, apart from Nick, if Nick objects to it, I don't care. It's going in the it's going in the bag. <laughs> Okay, so you put the uh, spell book in the bag, and now you are free to go around. And so I'm going to tell you the names that of Raphael told you that night. Mm -hmm. You remember Terara uh, Night Shadow, the tribe's historian, Kikior Arrow Shift, uh, Arrow Swift, leader of the tribe's hunters, Yulian Shadow, uh, Snow Mantle, sorry, uh, tribe's high priest. These are the <coughs> three very important people besides um Cerilia Star Singer that was the uh Aralia Star Singer, sorry, that was the actual um leader we just met. Okay. So I guess I would ask around for them. If we can find them. Yeah. Um well it's easy to f to find just like every elf and here knows about them, so who do you ask for? Can you tell me their roles once again? Terara Night Shadow is the tribe's historian. Historian. Kikiar Arrow Swift is the leaders of uh, leader of the tribe's hunters, and Iren Snow Mantle is the tribe's high priest. Okay, I would go first to the high priest. Okay, uh, party. I want to get one of those out. I want to get one of those mounts too because owlbear cavalry is better than bear cavalry. Shut up. What a donkey. Too big for you as well. Not that I can ride bears. A bit. I don't mm, no, no, you can't ride bears because they're large creatures. Yeah. So you're a small creature. You, you could ride a medium creature. Can he ride a baby bear? You can have donkey. So oh, you could have you could have you could have ridden that dragon maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll have a dragon mount. Just just to make it just to make you. Uh, that wasn't the dragon. It was a cobalt with wings. The way you describe it. No, not that cobalt. No, anyway. no you just mean that the size that you describe it makes it sound like a cobalt. <laughs> things. Well, it was a medium-sized kind of a young dragon. Okay, so um. You guys go and find Eren's um, Snow Mantle if you follow Cyril or if you have any other. Uh, if you want to do anything else? I actually would like to uh, go see if they have a blacksmith. Mm, yes. Shopping sounds like a good idea. Okay. Um, give me one second to find out. Uh, to do. I think we should all. I think we should all shop first, Cyril, before seeing holy people. Hmm. I don't guess worry, we can I'm, see what they offer. I'm a dwarf. I'll, I'll get us a good bargain. Don't worry. Yeah. If not, if not, if not, he can nick it. Okay. Well, you ask. Uh, you ask around, and it doesn't seem to be any established blacksmith that sells. It seems that everything they kind of make here is they're self-sufficient. Uh, and they what they make they use, so they don't trade much. They must have a myth at <laughs> The they don't seem to um, to have like a guy that ma specifically makes them. Well, they're not very self sufficient if they don't have somebody who makes the stuff that they're self sufficient with. No, like they all kind of make them. They oh, there are the weapons and armor. They they all. Uh, they they make them themselves. Do they have any magic items? If I ask around. Do you magic ask items? for magic items and they say that not for outsiders? Okay. <laughs> the halfling sighs and goes, I just want my armor adjusted. <laughs> I've been to three different towns and all of them haven't been able to adjust my armor. <laughs> Um, do you want to go see everyone together, or...? Might as well. Yeah, please go see I'm going to go see the hunter after the priest then. Okay. Who trusts me in going alone? 
Nobody. Everyone. Okay, so you find uh, <laughs> you, you meet uh, Ewan Snowmantle at the house at the temple of Koran Warenthia. This beautiful structure isn't the largest bit in the town, but it's certainly the most impressive. The temple is made of wood and wood shaped from the tr uh, trunk and branches of a large squat tree in a way that the tree was unharmed and always continues to grow. The temple oh consists of a large circular worship hall, the wall of which are left open to the air. A ten foot statue of Koron Ranrimphia stands in the temple center. The camp's only cleric and high priest, Eren Snowmantle, uh, reads observance every couple of days from what you hear. He is now keeping a speech for, for the people there. As soon as he finishes, he comes and greets you and says, I am Eren Snowmantle, the temple's high priest.